It's kind of like a shot. This is Cole Labor. And you stab it in your knee. He's explaining to me how to use an EpiPen. And then you can let go of it and then you like call the police or something. Baby! Cole's a pretty typical fifth grader. He loves sports and playing with friends. He just happens to know how to administer the EpiPens he carries everywhere. He goes because... Well, I have a peanut tree nut allergy. If I eat nuts, like, my, I get hives and, like, my throat kind of, like, work, like... Closes up. Yeah, and I can't really breathe. So what he's about to say next may surprise you. Every day I have to eat four peanut M&Ms. A year ago, Cole's family learned about oral immunotherapy desensitization being done at the New England Food Allergy Treatment Center in Connecticut and just recently in Quincy, Massachusetts. I thought, well, it can't hurt to try it. The treatment is just is exactly what it sounds like. It's just they're feeding increasingly larger amounts of peanuts, starting off with a very, very small amount. And over the course of the year, you build up to where you're up to a, a serving of peanuts. Cole went to the center every two weeks to increase his dose, which started with peanut flour and moved to actual peanuts. You're still allergic to peanut butter. It's called they're being desensitized. They're not being cured. It was pretty scary at first because like all my life I've been told like not to eat nuts. Cole's allergy to peanuts and tree nuts was detected when he was less than one. And shortly after learning of his allergy, he had a close call. I had bought an organic chocolate bar and I was like, okay, it doesn't say anything about nuts. And there were no nuts in it. Cole was just one and a half when a seemingly innocuous bite of chocolate covered his body with hives. And we just drove straight to the emergency room, EpiPen ready. By the time we got him in there, they were like, oh no, he's having an anaphylactic reaction. They put an IV right in and they gave it to him. Whenever I think about it, like my heart races. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so scary. Dr. Valen says failure to expose young children to potentially allergenic foods may be why they've seen an increase of 20% in peanut allergies over the last decade. So now they are recommending that kids get peanut exposure, egg exposure, tree nuts. I mean, basically you can have any of the highly allergic foods from four months on. The therapy has about an 85% success rate, but Dr. Valen says it works best with younger children. In the end, if families feel a little less uptight and it gives them some freedom in traveling or letting their children go to birthday parties and do things that they may not have in the past, then that's, that's, that's huge. And that's what we're really hoping for, for families. At the end of April, Cole reached his goal, four peanut M&Ms, or one serving of peanuts, without any reaction, completing the therapy that is not FDA approved. Seeing a difference in him, seeing him um, actually feeling a little bit less nervous and anxious um, actually means the world to me as a mother. Well, it changed my life a lot because I was always scared of trying something new and now I can like trust my instincts. I still have to like be careful, but like I can relax a lot more than I used to be able to. In Stratum, Beth McAvoy, New Center, Maine.